Hi everyone, Valerie here with today's two minute tech tip. Today we're going to talk about Google Tasks and Reminders. In some ways, tasks and reminders look very similar, but there are important differences that we'll look at. Let's get started with tasks. Now tasks can appear on your calendar, but they only do so under certain circumstances. They have their own place, the task list. Click on this icon on the right hand side of the screen to see your task list. As you can see, I already have a few tasks on my list. I fixed that Tech Lab PC, so let's check that off. I'm going to add a task to my list. Click on Add Task and type in what the task is. I need to get ready for my book club meeting on the 16th. You can add due dates and other information for tasks. Let's take a look at that. Click on the pen next to the task to add more information to it. Here you can add a due date to your task. I'm going to set this one for the 16th. You can also add subtasks to a task. To get ready for my book club, I need to send an invite to my members and read the book. Now my task is done, and if you look over on your calendar, you can see it on the 16th. Tasks won't appear on your calendar unless you add a due date to them. Now let's move on to reminders. We mentioned reminders before when we talked about Google Keep. Unlike tasks, reminders don't have their own list. They live on your calendar. To create a reminder, click on the date you want to get the reminder on and type in what you want to be reminded of. I'm going to create a reminder to put out the garbage. Reminders default to all day, but you can set them to pop up at a certain time. This is one of the ways they differ from tasks, which cannot be set to go off at a specific time. Let's say I want to make sure I put the garbage out by 6 p.m. I'll uncheck the all day box and then set the time to 6 p.m. Reminders can also be set to repeat. So I can set this reminder to remind me to put out the garbage every week. They also hang around until you mark them as done so you won't forget to do certain things. There are lots of different ways to use tasks and reminders. Personally, I tend to use tasks for work-related things and reminders for personal, but you do you. That's it for today. Next week we'll look at how calendar, tasks, and reminders can work with Gmail. Take care.